Today we're going to begin in the root chakra. I'm shining red light into your root chakra because it does feel very dense and very closed. I'm asking your guides what we can do about this today. They're saying to receive the healing that you desire. You have to learn to let go. It feels like your root chakra is just completely closed down. It's like you're trying to control everything. And it's tied deeply to your safety and security in the environment that you're in. Where does this come from in your childhood where you had to control or you felt like you needed to be in control for protection? How can we love and honor that there were times in your childhood where you felt like you had to control the situation because you were either afraid of what was going to happen if you weren't in control or things were taken away from you or specific traumas happened when you didn't feel like you were in control. A lot of these are coming to the surface for you to begin to heal. And it just feels like this need to control everything has locked down your root chakra. And it really comes back to safety, feeling safe in your environment, believing that there's a greater plan for your life, believing in your own divinity, and it's almost like they're showing me as you loosen this grip to need as you list as sorry as you loosen your need to control things that's when this beautiful world opens up to you this beautiful world opens up to you your spiritual abilities life beyond the veil opens up to you But most of all, this is how you heal yourself because they're showing me this need to control things is actually locking down your nervous system. And that's what that's actually like what's causing your misalignment is your need to control things and the thought patterns that are coming with it. So the thought loops of like, what if this happens the negative thought cycles, they are on a, you're on a thought loop that is causing these emotions to come up for you. You're pushing them back down. It's putting your body into fight or flight. And it's just, everything is just getting locked down. It feels really, really tight and congested. And they're saying the only person they can start to loosen this grip around you is yourself it's okay to let go sometimes we are grateful for this protection we are so grateful that you had this protection you were able to create a better life for yourself but it's time to let this go and believe and trust and trust that the other side is so much more beautiful. That you don't have to be in fight or flight any longer. You don't have to be in survival any longer. So I'm going to clear as much density as I can from your root. I'm really going to try to open this up for you and get the energy flowing up and through your energy body. Adia, adia, adia. Yo, 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 yo. Mm. 
just shining ultraviolet light into your root chakra. Adia, dia, dia. Okay, let's go into your sacral chakra. It did feel like your root opened up a lot, that there's a lot that we need to look at there. I'm shining yellow light. I'm shining yellow golden light into your sacral chakra. Your sacral doesn't feel too bad. It's definitely not as bad as your root, but it just feels like your energy gets stuck at your root. So there's no energy flowing up into your body. So maybe you feel really tired. And then I just, I feel this intense grip <laughs> that you have. I also just heard your guides say like, what is it that you're still holding on to that you're not letting go? Um, I feel it in your heart chakra too. But let's go, let's see if there's anything in your sacral that we need to know about first. I feel a loved one here, maybe a past pet or a past family member that was with you during a very traumatic event that you're still holding on to that was there to love and nurture them and then you lost them and that was really hard and they're just saying it's okay to let me go you don't have to hold on to this anymore maybe you didn't even know that you're still holding on to it this strongly it's almost like you hold on to everything, good and bad, because you're afraid of losing it. <laughs> your guide said that it's almost like an emotional hoarder. You're hoarding your good emotions, you're hoarding your bad emotions, because you don't want to lose any of it. Your guides are just sending you so much love for the journey that you're on. They're sending you so much love for your experiences in this life. They know that it hasn't been easy for you, but they've been here with you the entire time. They're ready to be in communication with you. It's just loosening your grip. To believe in something greater than yourself. They will do a full energetic realignment for you today. So you will see a difference in your energy after this activation. But then after that, it's your job to practice letting go. It's every single time you have a thought of what you're trying to control in your life taking a deep breath, being aware of the thought that you're having, and just letting it go. And you can even change it to thoughts like, I believe there's a greater plan for me. I believe in my divinity. You're also very connected to the angelics, so I have felt the angelics around, uh, around me the entire time. Let me see what they want upgraded. So I'm gonna try to clear this density of even more. I'm bringing in ultraviolet light into your sacral, clearing and cleansing your sacral one last time. We're gonna do a lot of energetic work today. I do feel an attachment in your sacral, so let's see. Let's invite him forward and ask him why he's here. 
He said he's been protecting you. You have a lot of... Okay, so first, they said that you came into this life wanting as much of a human experience as possible. So you're a very powerful, angelic being, but you wanted the most human experience possible. And so that's why it feels so hard to connect. And that's why you're going to have to push yourself a little bit harder to be able to connect in. Because those were the barriers that you wanted to break down during this experience. So you wanted to show yourself how powerful you were. Um, even just in your human experience. Before you stepped into your multi-dimensional self. And into your spiritual abilities. And so... It's a little bit harder for you to access these things because in your soul contract, you wanted to work for it. <laughs> You're extremely powerful and you decided that this was the experience that you wanted. That you decided you were going to train your analytical mind. You would do things like meditation and fully learn to trust yourself so that these things can open up to you. And then, so you actually have a couple, um, you have a couple attachments right now that are actually blocking your spiritual abilities and your connections. But these are beings that are contracted with you to block these abilities. It's almost like you needed these blocks here so that you could have a human experience before you stepped in to that higher version of yourself. So I'm seeing two attachments, one around your third eye, one around your sacral. Your sacral is your superpower since that you're very connected to the angelics. You have so much creative force. You have so much sexual energy because it's our healing energy. Um, your sacral has so much potential. So as you're trying to open up, um, to connect more with your guides, to do things like hypnosis, also start working with your sacral. Because your sacral energy is so powerful, it's going to help move that energy up and through your body. It's going to really help the physical issues that you're having. And it actually helps us heal faster. So you can do things like Qigong. I can send you a couple videos. You can do things like yoga. Really anything to just get that energy moving and flowing. So I'm asking if this entity is meant to be released today. They're saying yes. This being has been with you since the beginning of this lifetime. He has fulfilled his soul contract with you because you're ready to make this step in your life so we are going to bring in Archangel Michael and he is going to take this attachment back to the light the attachment is just taking his hand just ready to go the attachment felt very benevolent and it wasn't harming you in any way. He was just a block for your healing energy, for that angelic power behind you. <laughs> They're just saying be very aware of your impulses after this. So that was a lot. You have so much energy in your sacral. It feels like something just completely opened up for you. <laughs> and so just be very aware and very mindful 
of impulses and urges after this and just know just be the observer to it and just know that this is something that was meant to open up for you now but this is actually going to bring a lot of healing to that part of the body so as long as you start working on letting go of control working on your beliefs as we open up these centers it's really going to help heal the lower half of your body because right now it just feels like energetically the bottom half of your body was shut down completely I can feel how much energy is in your sacral right now. (laughs) It's beautiful, but it is a lot. So take time and rest after this. So I'm going to energetically weave together your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus so that you can really get this energy flowing up and through your energetic body. Idea, idea. Your sacral energy is so powerful that I just saw this divine golden light. It almost looked like it shot up from your sacral and up the rest of your energy centers and out of your crown chakra, just completely connecting you to your divinity, to your soul's essence. That's so beautiful. Let's go to the solar plexus. They're shining yellow light into your solar plexus. An angel came in and lighted, they lit. (laughs) An angel came in and lit, ooh, they ignited the flame within you. They ignited the eternal flame within your solar plexus, within your power center, because you are a powerful divine being. I feel some fears here that are causing this chakra to turn more slowly. I'm asking them if they can give me any clarity in what that is. Fear of letting go. It's almost like, um, okay, this is what they're showing me. So in your soul contract, you're meant to live the most human life experience possible. And then you go through an extremely powerful awakening and your life changes completely like it almost feels like once you're open to this you take a quantum shift in your reality and your life changes completely there's no way that it can't change and so your ego knows what is coming the highest version of you knows what is in your soul contract and so they're showing me it's almost like there's a part of your ego freaking out about it (laughs) that there's a huge they're calling it an ego death that there's a huge part of you that you have to let go of so that you can step into this and that's why a lot of those other quantum healing sessions didn't work is because there's a part of yourself that is still holding on for dear life the human experience that you're in that even though you're living in pain that even though okay sorry about that um so they're saying even though you feel like you are ready 
for these things, there's still unconscious programming that is holding on for dear life to your human experience. Because there's a higher version of yourself that knows the greater plan for you. And now it's just bringing the unconscious to the conscious. So being very aware of your thoughts, what thoughts are no longer serving you, being very aware of your emotions, what emotions are yours and what emotions are not yours, what has been programmed into you, Um, and we can work more on all of these things. So with this beautiful flame that the angels ignited within your solar plexus, I just want you to fill this flame, ignite, and become even brighter and brighter and brighter. This fire expands from your solar plexus into your sacral, into your root. It expands through your left leg and your right leg. It also expands up through your heart, up through your shoulders, your throat, your third eye, out through your crown. It expands down your left arm, your right arm, transmuting any of the stuck energy in your energy body, clearing all blocks immediately, bringing you back to your truest soul's essence, reigniting your divine blueprint. Bringing you back to who you really are. Feel this fire ignite within you, this eternal flame within you. Coming back to your soul's essence is how we heal. Knowing that we are greater than any physical issue that we face. The angels are also sending you healing light to the parts of your nerves that you have issues with, especially in your hips, in your legs. They send this beautiful healing light up through your lower back. It's almost like they're putting these They look like bubbles. (laughs) Um, It looks like these energetic spheres that they're, they're putting around your nerve endings to help with the pain. But if you don't start letting go, then this energetic connection, it will not last very long. It's so beautiful though. They're so excited for you for the next part of your journey. It's okay to be afraid. You're it's almost like they're showing me <laughs> you feel oh it's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm getting this picture of you walking with the angels and you're walking off the cliff and it feels like the angels are leading you off of a cliff. And you're absolutely terrified. (laughs) Like, you're like, um, I can't walk off the cliff. Why would you guide me this way? I can't do that. I'm too afraid. And the angels are just so open to you and have so much love for you. And they just say, I promise we will hold you and guide you and love you. And so you take that first step off of the cliff And when you fall, you land (laughs) on the fluffiest cloud. (laughs) The fluffiest cloud of unconditional love. And they're just saying, we are here to hold you and guide you and catch you. You're not going through this alone. Trust in us and trust in the unknown. You're taking a giant leap of faith and walking into the unknown for the first time in your life. 
but the unknown is where we reach new levels of gratitude, of happiness, of peace. It's so beautiful. I feel the love that they have for you right now. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that this chakra is fully spinning before we move on. Hadia, hadia. Let's go into your heart. Shining green light into your heart chakra. I just, I got this image of a little boy crying. It's almost like he's sitting outside on a step crying. He doesn't understand what's happening. He doesn't understand why his emotions are so difficult. He doesn't want anyone to see him cry. It's almost like he's embarrassed to show his emotions. It's like that was the moment you chose that you wouldn't be a victim. It was the moment you chose you wouldn't allow things like this to happen to you any longer. It's the moment you felt like you could control the outcomes of what was happening. <laughs> that if you controlled the things around you, then you wouldn't be like your parents, maybe. It's almost like you shut yourself down emotionally to survive at that moment. Connect with this little version of you. Give him a big hug because he needs a lot of love. And just tell him it's okay. Tell your inner child it's okay. You made it. He's saying it's okay to let go. <laughs> that you guys can have fun together <laughs> with the angels. <laughs> that you survived together, but you don't have to be in survival anymore. It's okay to feel your emotions. You don't have to hide them from people anymore. If people... If your emotions make people uncomfortable, then maybe those are people you need to set boundaries with. We honor and we love our emotions. We use our emotions for a GPS, <laughs> for a clear path of where we're going. So if we feel anxiety in specific places of our life, those are the places that need to be looked at more. Those are the places that are calling for us to change. Whereas the things that excite us or the love that we feel, that is the direction that we head. You have so much love in your blueprint. It's just coming back to it. I do also feel <clears throat> I feel a very big block around your heart where you shut yourself away from love, from true unconditional love, and you did it at a very young age. And then your inner child is just saying, remember to love yourself. That healing yourself will not be easy. But this is the path that you chose and it is completely possible. You are here to transcend pain and health issues in the physical reality. To show how strong of a soul you really are and then to help lead others into this great path forward. And this is where it all begins for you. 
and they're showing it's almost like you needed also with the other hypnosis sessions they just weren't the right people for you so you needed people that could empower you that understood the very fast transformation you're going through let me see if there's anything else in your heart that they would like to look at today the angels are just shining this beautiful golden light into your heart and they're just saying it's okay to love again to love completely to love yourself i'm gonna upgrade your intuition today they're saying something small that you can do to open yourself more up to hypnosis is just putting your conscious awareness on your heart so you're so in your head that you're blocking the communication to the other side so how can we get out of the head and into the heart so they're saying just do meditations all you have to do is spend five minutes every day with your conscious awareness on your heart fill the space of your heart feel your heart beating inside of your chest ask your guides and your angels to send you so much love so that you can feel the love within your heart and this will help you go into brain and heart coherence throughout the day this will help build your intuition it will help build your communication to your guides and your angels also when you feel emotions ask yourself what the emotions truly feel like so you've locked your emotions away in this state of control and so when emotions come up for you you can even start with happy emotions like watch a video or a show that makes you laugh and ask yourself how does happiness feel in your body how does laughter feel in your body where in your body do you feel this happiness and this laughter and then same when you're sad like when you feel sad ask yourself where do i feel this sadness in my body how does this sadness feel in my body you've been very disconnected from your body through your human experience and this connection building this connection is so important when it comes back to your divinity and remembering more of who you are so start studying your body start studying your emotions be the greatest researcher of your body it's it was so beautiful i got a picture of your heart and the moment that you start putting your conscious awareness on your heart this beautiful light just radiates out of it connecting you to your intuition connecting you to the angels connecting you to your body so communicate with your body as well even if it feels weird in the beginning start to ask your question start asking your body questions so ask your body what kind of foods should i be eating ask your body what do you need from me right now and just tell your body how much you love it because it almost feels like your crown chakra is disconnected from the rest of your body so energetically we will rewire that today as well so it's just maintaining the connection with your body speaking to your body sending your body so much love being in complete alignment so that you can get to the place that you want to be so i'm going to activate your intuition and then get your energy up and flowing i feel distortions in your heart that i'm going to try to work through but i think a lot of this i think a lot of the distortion in your heart is just around love um even what it means to be loved 
how to love. But those are things for a later session. Adia, Adia, Akia, see me out too. 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 Do, 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 Akia, see me out too. Akia, see me out too. Akia, see me out too. Do, 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 Let's go to your throat chakra. Shining purple light into your throat chakra. Your throat chakra actually feels pretty good. They're just saying be mindful of the way that you're speaking. It's not really meant to be your superpower or anything. Um, you do a good job of standing up for yourself, speaking out when you need to. You have a very balanced throat chakra, actually. It's beautiful. That's very rare for people um, that are still, I guess you would say, in their human experience this deeply. So I'm just going to weave together your lower chakras this far. Make sure that this is fully spinning. Let's go to your third eye. So this is where you have the other attachment. This other attachment is blocking your third eye completely. So we're going to release this today. Releasing both of these attachments at the same time may be very intense for you. So you can always reach out to me if you need it, if you have any questions. So let's see if there's anything else that we need to know about this one before we take him back to the light. Again, they're just saying that they've been attached to you since the beginning, even since childhood, that you're extremely powerful, and so this was blocking your spiritual abilities. Your th third eye doesn't feel open that this was blocking it. This attachment also knows that he has played out his soul contract and he's ready to go. So we're just going to bring in Archangel Michael to take this attachment back to source. We thank this attachment for doing his job, for helping you have the most human experience possible. He's just taking him by the hand and taking him back to source. <laughs> the attachment waved to goodbye as he went. <laughs> I feel like these are the attachments are attachments that you've known in past lives. It's almost like they're entities that are your friends <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we'll have to dive deep into that later because i still have a lot more energetic work to do but that's just really interesting they felt very friendly and very benevolent and they truly knew their purpose there okay so i'm gonna shine golden purple light into your third eye especially where that attachment was your third eye is starting to open a little bit. They're saying to do a full activation for you today for your third eye, for your clairvoyance. To really open this up for you. I'm going to connect together your sacral and your third eye. Because your sacral and your third eye are your superpowers. And there's a way that you'll use those two together. But they're saying this is already so much information for you today that we can talk about that later. How you use those two together as your superpower. It's almost like your sacral energy is your powerhouse for your third eye. It's really interesting. 
It's like your spiritual abilities are even stronger than most people just because you have so much sacral energy directly flowing to your third eye. So I'm going to completely activate your clairvoyance today, your ability to see, your ability to feel. I'm connecting your upper chakras with your lower chakras. So that you can be more embodied, more in the body, feel safe in the body. I got this image of a submarine and the lights are on in the submarine and then your third eye is the scope <laughs> is it's the telescope out of the submarine that they use to like see above the water or you know those old cartoons where they were in the submarine and then they had the scope or the like yeah I guess the scope that was a light that would go above the water and see everything that's why how your third eye and your sacral chakra work together. It helps you see into different realities. It's just this creative force. And that as long as you continue this path, you'll have full access and more clarity on these abilities later. But they're just reminding you it's not going to be easy. It's going to take meditation awareness of your thoughts being who si- sorry being hyper aware of your thoughts just because you have been so locked down for a long time <clears throat> let's go to your crown chakra it's like your crown chakra is your angelic halo You're a very old soul. They're shining blue light into your crown chakra. They want me to send you an activation so that you can start to remember more of who you are. So just trust in yourself. If you feel an energetic connection to any type of collectives, follow it. If you feel interested in any of them, follow it. They know that you're most interested in your physical health, but we heal our physical health by following our excitement. Because when we follow our excitement, it opens us up to an entire new reality where we can start to change our beliefs. We can start breaking our, we can begin to break our programming or conditioning. All of this is so deeply tied together. And then they're saying Joe Dispenza as well. So being very aware of your thoughts that are no longer serving you. Seeing yourself is practicing meditations where you fully experience yourself healed already. Feeling what it would be like to be fully healed. Put yourself into that experience. And I can send you a couple of Joe Dispenza's meditations that really help you do that. Because he has a lot of people that are healing physically from a lot of different things. It's really incredible. And he does it in a very scientific way. Okay, I'm going to update this for you. Just make sure it's spinning. Connecting you even more with your guides and your angels. Upgrading your clear cognizance, your deep knowingness. Trusting yourself completely. So when you start to feel things 
or get information or just a random well you think it's random but like maybe a thought just pops into your head trusting it completely because I'm upgrading just your deep knowingness because the clear cognizance is one of your greatest spiritual abilities as well but to access our clear cognizance we have to trust ourselves and we have to build our discernment of what is ours and what's coming from somewhere else so I'm going to activate your crown chakra and then weave together your crown with your heart chakra so that you can start listening to your heart more building your intuition even more, building your claircognizance and your discernment even more. Idea, idea. Okay, we are going to activate the chakra right above your head really open that divine pillar up to you so that you can start connecting to your spirit guides they said they're already sending you messages you just have to be more open to it and just believe just start asking them questions and just fully believe and trust that it's possible that's truly all you have to do to open yourself up to this is just fully believe and trust because in the beginning maybe it will feel like you're making it up or maybe it will feel like it's hard to trust the information but they're saying you can do this you're meant to do this it's just believing and trusting So we're going to really open up your divine pillar, your access to higher dimensional beings, opening up your multidimensional reality. They said opening up the floodgates for you. That was beautiful. So the star chakra is the chakra right above our head. And it looked like these heavenly gates opened above your head. And this beautiful light just flooded out and flooded through your entire energetic body. Through your emotional body. Just connecting you even deeper and deeper to your divinity. To your truest soul's essence. They said they're activating every cell within your body to remember more of who you are, to remember your connections to the angels, to remember your connection to the galactics. So I do just want to ask for clarity. Um, He said that he's had a lot of digestive issues. Is there any guidance that you could give him on his digestive issues? They're saying this activation today will help greatly. That you're such a high frequency. You're used to not having to eat as much food. And you have a lot of food intolerances. Especially the toxins in food. So for you, it's very, very important to eat as clean as you possibly can. And it's not the foods that you have an issue with. It's all of the toxins and everything that they add to it that your body just does not handle. So I'm asking what you can do about this. Fasting for you would be a great idea to start fasting. Like they're saying just start small like 12 hours, and then build from there, that when you fast, you'll feel amazing. 
it's almost like they're showing me that as the ascension goes, you're not, you're going to be one of those people that doesn't even have to eat. (laughs) That, um, your body can bring in source light for energy and it doesn't need food for fuel. And so try fasting, listen to your body. They're saying this is why it's also important for you to build that connection with your body because you do need to like truly get into communication with your body so that your body knows that it's safe when you're fasting so that it doesn't go into fight or flight. Just tell your body it is safe, it is loved. They said maybe try, this is um, a message from your guides, I just want to say that I am in no way a nutritionist or a doctor. (laughs) Um, This is just the information that your guides are bringing in, but they're saying like maybe try to just eat one meal a day, like one solid meal where you have vegetables, fruit, meat, um, and then a just drink water the rest of the day and just see how you feel and be very careful of the vegetables that you're eating because a lot of vegetables have toxins in them as well you're very highly sensitive to foods for you it actually might be better to eat meat but grass fed um, and then praying over your meat and being thankful for the animals. I'm asking if there's any other guidance they would like to give you. Your guides are just saying that they're so excited for you for this part of your journey. Things are going to change greatly for you. Try to embrace it. And they just have so much love for you. I can really feel it. It's beautiful.